Hello and welcome, this is Daisy. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your own sublimation designs or t-shirt designs using Inkscape. But before we start with the tutorial, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel, like my video and press the notification bell. And let's start. Open Inkscape. If you don't have it yet, let's go to Inkscape.org. Click on Download, Current Version. If you have Window, click on Window. If you have Mac, you click on Mac or Linus. I'm going to click on Windows. I have installed the 64-bit. If you don't know which one to install on your computer, click over here and it's going to show you which one is best for you. Since I already have the program installed on my computer, I'm going to go back to Inkscape. Let's go to File, Document Properties, and here we're going to select the size of the paper we're going to be printing. In this case, I'm going to be working on letter size and on landscape. Now I'm going to insert the images I'm going to be working with. Go to File, Import. I'm going to insert this one first and open. Then click OK. As you can see, this one has a clear background. So this one is going to be easier. If the picture has background, I'm going to show you how to remove the background in a little bit. Since this one is just a silhouette and I need it solid, I'll have to fill it in. Go to the paint bucket and start painting the center. Now click on this arrow, click on the silhouette and put it aside. And we're going to select all of these layers, go to path and click on union. Now it's only one layer. In this one, we can simply change the color or we can also add a pattern. I'm going to add a pattern. So I'm going to go back using this arrow over here. And I'm going to go to File, Import, and I'm going to click on the Chick-fil-A logo. Click OK. This one is a very big image and it doesn't have a clear background. I'm going to minimize the Canva over here, make it a smaller, place it over there, and maximize the Canva. Now, since this one doesn't have a clear background, we're going to do a different process. Go to Path, click on Trace Bit Map. And here we're going to click on single scan, update, and apply. Now click on the top layer and remove the first one. So on this one, we select and change color. So this one, we're going to place it on top of the hand, resize it to your liking. Now click and I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to make it smaller. and place it 
where you desire. Duplicate and place another one over here. Duplicate again. Now we're going to move the bottom layer select on all of these layers, go to path and click on union. Now bring the hand back, position and align. Now select both of them, go to object, clip and set. Change color. And now we're going to place it on top of the other hand. Now select, right click, and group. Or you can also go to object and group over here. Now we already have the first image. Now let's go back to file, import, and we're going to insert a heart. I like this one and open it. Some of these images, I download them from Google. Click OK. Minimize the Canva. Resize it. And maximize again. This one obviously doesn't have a clear background. We're going to do the same as we did with the logo. So go to path, trace bitmap, single scan, and update. Apply. Get the layer on the side and remove the first one. We're not going to need that one. Now on this heart silhouette, we're going to select it, double click, and you're going to see all of those little squares. Well, with those little squares, we can modify the heart. I want to place a pattern inside the heart, but since it has an opening, it's not going to let me. So what I'm going to do is close the heart. Grab the last square and drag it to the other side so you can close the heart. Also with those little squares, you can change the thickness or modify the image completely. Now click on the other arrow and ready. So here we're going to go to the paint pocket and fill up the inside. Arrow. Take the silhouette apart. And on this one, we're going to add pattern. Let's go to file, import, and I'm going to grab the cow pattern. Open, click OK, and we're going to resize it. Send it to the back using this arrow over here. Now we're going to select both of them Go to Object, Clip, and Set. See, we already have a heart with pattern. We come back and grab the silhouette and place it on top. I'm going to select the silhouette and change color. Now on this one, I'm going to duplicate it. 
and change color. I'm going to make it black, but um, I'm going to send it to the back. I just want a little bit showing there. We already have the second image. Now we're going to go and insert the third. Go to File, Import. I could add the fries or the Chick-fil-A drink. I think I'm going to insert this one. Open. Okay, so we already have it. Resize it. This one has a clear background. I removed it before. So click twice and you're going to see this curved arrow and you can rotate it. And ready. We can leave it like this. If you wish, you can add shadows to the picture. I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to duplicate this one. Put it aside. We're going to go to filters, shadows and glows, and click on dark and glow. See? Now we can position it on top of the heart and place it on the back and you can see a beautiful shadow over there so you can do that with each item if you wish only if you wish I'm going to select the heart go to object and group select all of them go to object and group Make sure it's inside the Canva because if you leave some of it outside, it's not going to print or it's not going to save it completely. So now we're going to add text. Let's click on this A over here, click on the Canva and start typing. Now click on this T over there click on any font and scroll down until you find the one that you like i like afrika i'm going to apply i'm going to leave three spaces peace love one two three chic A. Now I'm going to make it as wide as the design. And here you can add hearts if you wish. I am going to um, insert Chick fil A logos. Let's go to File, Import. Here is the logo, open it, click OK, it's pretty big. I'm going to resize it different this time, instead of millimeters, change it to inches, click on the lock and resize it over here. I'm going to change it to six inches. Bring it over here. Since this one doesn't have a clear background, we're going to go to path, trace bitmap, single scan, update, and apply. We just need the layer on top and erase the one below. Resize it again. Bring it over here. Center it and change color. 
duplicate and place it over there. It looks beautiful. I love it. Select the text with the logos, right click and group. And here we have the Peace, Love and Chick-fil-A design. Perfect for sublimation. This is just an idea of how you can create your own sublimation designs. You can replace the patterns and the images for the ones that you like. So you already learned how to create a simple sublimation design. Here you learned how to add patterns to the pictures, how to remove the background, how to modify the picture, how to add shadow and text, and all of it using Inkscape. And let's don't forget, this is a free program. Like this, we don't have to spend a lot of money buying a graphic design program to create our own sublimation designs. Now we're going to save the design. Let's go to File, Export PNG Image. You're going to see this window. Click over here and save your image in a folder that is easy for you to access. And ready. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video and press the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.